Thank you. I always dread the first session after lunch, particularly on the last day of these sorts of activities. It can be difficult to keep people's attention. But we're coming to the sharp end, I think, of the, the maritime narrative here. And we've got two uh, absolutely outstanding speakers who I think will uh, not only keep us awake, I think will challenge us um, quite distinctly. Um, the two speakers we've got this, for this session, I'm not going to um, uh, repeat their biographical details. They are in the abstract book for you to read. But uh, it is uh, important for me to say that Jane Chan is a research fellow and a coordinator of the Maritime Security Program at RSIS Nanyang Technology University in Singapore. What Jane's going to do is she's going to bring a refreshing Southeast Asian perspective and the ASEAN experience to our theme. The second speaker will be Commodore, Commodore Jonathan Mead of the Royal Australian Navy. And Jonathan also has some unique experience in the region. At one time, he was our Australian Defence Advisor to India, and he's also served as a Coalition Task Force Commander in the Northwest Indian Ocean with hands-on experience on some of these issues that we've been discussing. Well, to date, we've looked at the importance of the Indian Ocean. We've explored the significance of the maritime economy. We've looked at the challenges that we're facing, and we've reviewed some of industry's perspectives. So the next question, really, is how can we respond to these challenges? And in this session, we're going to look at how navies might contribute to that response. When we look around uh, at the countries represented in this room, we again are reminded of how diverse the region is. We are also seeing changes in the uh, presence of uh, maritime power in the Indian Ocean, particularly with the rise of Asia. And it's not surprising there are friction points creating strategic insecurity. Overlap on that, issues of national interest in maintaining trade and energy supplies, climate change, humanitarian disasters, piracy, human trafficking, transnational crime and the other issues we've discussed earlier. And we've got a region that I would suggest that most would welcome an improvement in the maritime response coordination as part of the solution. So Jane Chan will now uh, lead us off and continue our Indian Ocean maritime nar narrative by leading off on the vexing issue of maritime cooperation in the Indian Ocean. She's going to look at the existing arrangements, the challenges of these arrangements, and as I said earlier, bring ASEAN's experience to the table. Jane's also going to look at the potential of naval responses, primarily in the context of the value of enhanced institutional, build, institutional building. Please uh, welcome to the stand, Jane Chan. <laughs> 